Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am building a shipping container house, or house is made to look like it was made out of shipping containers. So this was actually an idea that um, someone mentioned probably a year ago in one of my Creator World episodes. So I placed this lot here in the industrial area with the purpose of building a house like this on it. Now, I did have a little oopsie when I was making this video, so I actually built like the whole structure of the house and didn't realize and then realized I wasn't recording the whole time. So, I ended up taking some screenshots of what I built and I saved like some of the Krita style uh, swatches, so I was able to come back and recreate it for you guys recorded. So that's what's happening right now, but it's only a very brief part of the video. Um, it's basically, I think at this point now, I am already back to where I was um, when I realized I wasn't recording. But yeah, that was a little bit of a a little bit of a uh, situation there, but not a not a big deal. Anyway, um, basically this house is made out of. Um, six different shipping containers. So there's actually two separate sections of this house. Um, there is the right side, which is four shipping containers, and the left side, which is only two. And they're connected by this like little bridge that kind of goes between these two um, foundation slabs, if you will. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the idea behind uh, this lot, is that it's just like a, an interesting arrangement of shipping containers that make a house. Now, um, this house was built on lot number 112, and I'll leave a down link in the description below, of course, so you can download this and place it in Plymouth Isle. Um, now, this house ends up having uh, two bedrooms and two bathrooms, um, and it's not huge, as you could probably imagine. Um, I made every shipping container, uh, in quotes, because they're obviously not really shipping containers, but they're made to look like them. I made each shipping container um, eight by three. So really the house is made out of six eight by three uh, rectangles. And it is also like some balconies, you can see like some of the uh, containers have accessible roofs, so you can go out onto the roof you know, if, if you want to. Um, also, if you hear any background noise, it's really windy outside, so my windows are kind of rattling a little bit. Um, so if you hear like creaking noises or something, that's what that is. Anyway, um, not a huge deal. So right here, I am just uh, actually separating up the foundation because I didn't like it being one giant block. I thought it was kind of ugly. So I decided instead to um, make it into like these two by two blocks um, and then fill in the rest with uh, flooring tiles, so it looks like a little bit better, um, I think, uh, instead of just one gigantic concrete block going into the water. Um, and yeah, so this lot is mostly over water. Um, you can see it slopes down to the ocean, and I didn't at all utilize um, the full length of this lot. This lot actually um, goes back, I think, 30 tiles. I think it's like a 30 by 30 lot uh, or something like that. Um, so yeah, but uh, I mean, this house takes up most of the land area that the lot has to offer. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, it's not a huge house, but it actually takes up like a lot of visual space. And I think it's just because of the way that it's spread out and then the way that there's like a lot of outdoor space as well, which you'll see. Um, so yeah, and this house ends up costing, I think like 110,000. So it's more expensive. That's because it uses like fancier stuff on the inside, but um, it's not really because it's a big house. But yeah, so I also couldn't put stairs in because uh, there wasn't any like room like where there wasn't enough space between where the containers overlapped to fit in a staircase So I had to put ladders in to get to the second floors, but it's okay. Your sims can use ladders um, And then I just put the kitchen in there, which I'm sure you just saw I'm gonna recolor stuff later. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about working is the master bedroom Because uh, of course an 8 by 3 room isn't really big enough for a bed a double bed, you know, because it's not wide enough or you know deep enough so the bed is kind of centered on a three wide wall so it means only like half tiles on either side i'm not sure if sims can actually use it um i didn't actually test it but i did and i also even if i did even if it doesn't work i just want it that way because it looks better so if you download the house you probably would have to move that bed to make it work but not a huge deal anyway in the living room here um so i'm actually well this yellow container here is the living room one and where the main entrance is um, and in this living room is basically just like a little a little fireplace and then also um, a love seat a couple chairs 
TV um, and stuff like that. This is this one here is the dining room and kitchen, um, which has access to a nice balcony. There's the bed I was talking about earlier, which has access to a nice balcony that overlooks the ocean. And again, in the end, you'll see some screenshots um, from like the balconies and decks and stuff. And you can see the view. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, out here um, on this like large outdoor area, I'm going to put a f outdoor fireplace kind of in this corner here and uh, like a living dining area out there. So there's like a lot of extra space on the outside of the house here. So, um, you know, your Sims aren't just, um, you know, cooped up on this small interior space that the house has. Anyway, um, right now, I'm just getting some tiles on the outside porches. So I'm just doing that and recoloring those. I think I actually make them a little bit darker later on because it looked a little bit too, like, crisp and blindingly white so I do tweak that um, I was going to put like a car parking spot but then I decided not to because I didn't like the way it messed up the terrain so yeah there's not really anything else going on in the front here but also interestingly enough you actually have to walk down like a few steps and then only to go back up into the house um, I just did that because I didn't want to flatten the terrain there because then it just looked more boring I thought this looked kind of more interesting so I was like whatever it's kind of impractical, but also looks kind of more interesting, so why not? Anyway, here I'm just doing some simple landscaping. Um, this house doesn't have crazy landscaping. It is also in the industrial area. It's like across the street from the uh, criminal hideout building, and, you know, so it's not like a fancy area. And I, I put this lot here because I wanted to build this house here because I thought, well, it's right, it's like literally right next to the port that I put in that's like from late night. It's like this... Um, decorative object but it looks like an industrial port so I thought well this is probably where shipping containers would be coming in to the island so you know maybe someone just bought a bunch of them and decided to build the house right here you know so that's why I did it I know it's not like the nicest area but I wanted it to go here so I put it here but yeah basically that's the reason why the house is where it is but anyway uh, the landscaping is kind of in I think I do the terrain paint later though anyway here I'm just getting some flooring in so I use this kind of like um, nice wood flooring in most of the house. I think pretty much all the rooms have it. Um, I also, you might notice like these little transition bits between containers. So you can see there's one here between the living room and the kitchen. That's basically a one by two area that's like glass on the sides and has like these two arches. That's kind of like meant to be like a little connector between two separate containers. Um, so that's why I did that. Uh, but anyway, here I'm just recoloring some of the stuff in the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen's pretty nice, you know, even though it's like long and narrow, it has a good amount of space in it. Um, just recoloring some of the stuff in here, also getting uh, some tile on the walls as well. So that looks nice, and the black kind of adds a nice bit of contrast against all the like white walls and like the white counters. Um, there's also a microwave there. I actually extend the counters along uh, the far wall as well um, on the right there, just so it, you know, is a little bit more usable. But yeah, pretty much that's the kitchen. There's only two seats here at the dining table because um, there wasn't really room for a larger one in the house, but there is a six seat dining table outside. So, you know, in, in that case, it's fine. Oh, there's where I extended the counters there. But yeah, so there, there is good living space outside as well. Um, but anyway, here, just doing that. And uh, oh, this little container here um, is actually a office. So it's basically just gonna have uh, some skill building things in there and a computer, uh, stuff like that. So your Sims can, uh, you know, work in there. But um, anyway, here I am just adding in those things. So there's the uh, desk and computer. Here's the outdoor fireplace. I'm just recoloring that, kind of like jumping around, but I will eventually come back to things I haven't quite finished yet, like the couches in the living room don't stay green. Um, I do change that. Anyway, right now, uh, getting in uh, some other stuff, some blinds in the windows, so, you know, you can block out the sun if you want to. Anyway, here I'm just putting in the outdoor furniture now, so, yeah, it's pretty simple, but I'm going to find uh, what I'm looking for here in a moment. Yeah, so I get a couple love seats there, and then also the outdoor dining table over here and because there's another shipping container above that kind of crosses over this space which you can see that blue one it creates like a little bit of like a shaded area or like a little bit of a area protected from the elements um, as well which is nice anyway here I'm recoloring the things in the living room so the living room is not so weird looking so I went for like red or kind of like uh, the same kind of color that the red shipping containers are so it's kind of like a desaturated red it's more like a coral kind of color um, I kind of like made the containers not like super like uh, saturated colors because I wanted it to look like they're kind of worn a little bit or maybe faded a little bit. 
So like the red is more like a coral kind of like soft red and like the yellow is more faded. Um, so that was kind of the idea behind that. But anyway, here I am just getting in uh, some art and stuff in the living room, a bit of a rug there on the floor, which is nice. Um, I don't know what color I go for, I guess black or okay, gray. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the main living space right there. Also, I'm doing the office lighting, just lighting throughout the house here. Um, so yeah, and then also recoloring this roof here as well, just so it matches the walls a little bit better. But I also, in this area, I didn't, because this is like the connecting bit up there. Um, well, I guess you saw that briefly. I added that like little fence there just so it looks like it's more of its own separate little space. But I didn't want to put like two doors, you know, like one block apart from each other there and make a weird little tiny space. Because I thought that would be kind of not so great. But anyway, here I am adding in the dining table or at least recoloring it. Also adding in uh, like an outdoor plant there, which is nice. But yeah, you can see kind of the outdoor space is coming together a little bit here. Um, and it's kind of like a good bonus space, especially since the inside of the house is so tight. I thought it would be good to have uh, some more spacious areas um, outside. So that's kind of what, what I'm doing here. That's kind of what the idea behind that was. But uh, yeah, just adding some outdoor lighting in. Two, also some outdoor rugs, so I make them like out of wicker, uh, just so it looks a little bit warmer outside. It's not like just all tile. Also putting some lights there by the fireplace, and also a grill as well. So that kind of completes the outdoor area there, um, and makes it look kind of nice and cozy, and uh, also functional. You know, you have a lot, uh, good amount of stuff you can do. You can cook out there, you can eat out there, you can sit out there. Um, so yeah, kind of a multi-purpose space. But anyway, now we're moving into the master bedroom. I use these like really small side tables and squeeze them up against the walls there so that they can fit in. Um, and here I'm just recoloring the bedspread. I go for blue kind of in the bedroom. It's kind of like blue and white. Uh, also getting some lamps there on the nightstands. And also you might have noticed that I put like very, very large windows, mostly facing the ocean. And then these smaller windows that face either small windows or no windows facing the front of the house because that's just facing an abandoned factory. So it's not like a nice view. So I'm kind of like uh, making sure that like, you know, the what you're like looking out at is like a nice view. So that's why I have like a lot of large windows at the back of the house or on the sides and then small, either small windows or no windows on the front. So that's kind of the idea behind that. But anyway, here in the master bedroom, just doing some more stuff here. So just getting some rugs in. This area here is kind of part of the master bedroom. I kind of classify it as like the whole second floor of this space is like the master, but just more of a sitting area um, that faces the ocean, has access to a balcony there, which is nice. I'll put like a lounge chair out there. So that's kind of what this area is meant to be. Anyway, um, right now I'm just going to put some clothes in the closet there. So there is a closet for the master bedroom. And I'm uh, just pausing here for a moment, but we'll be back soon, I'm sure. Yep. And uh, yeah, also going to get in some lights in the closet here and then uh, some blinds as well. So, you know, we can block out the sun. Also, the master bathroom is right here. So uh, both bathrooms are pretty simple. Um, they both have a tub shower combo and then a, to a toilet and a sink. So yeah, this one is a pretty simple bathroom here. Just getting uh, the stuff in here and getting into some towels and then a little mat on the floor. So just some details there and also a bit of art. But yeah, that's the master bathroom. Uh, over here is the other bathroom. So this one's in the other side of the house and it's um, across from the second bedroom. So yeah, the second bedroom and bathroom are above the office and then the master suite is above the uh, dining, room ki or dining room, kitchen, uh, living room. Uh, but yeah, so you do have to go outside to get between the two separate uh, clusters of containers. Um, there's no inside connection, but I thought it was kind of interesting that way. You know, it's a little bit different. Anyway, this bedroom here is kind of more of a turquoise color scheme. Um, and again, you can see that like the one side has like a big window that's kind of like facing away from the industrial area. And then there's like a smaller window that faces like the rest of the house. So your view is like more of, you know, a little bit nicer. But anyway, here, just getting in uh, some furniture, getting in a rug there that kind of goes with the color scheme of the room. So kind of a, a white and turquoise kind of color there. And also getting a little bookshelf in the hallway because it's kind of nice. But we're actually getting pretty close to the end of this video here. I'm going to do the office as well. I think it's pretty much the last interior room I'm going to do. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider clicking that subscribe button. You can also check out plenty more house design videos on my channel, including ones made specifically for Plymouth Isle. If you haven't yet, I'd recommend checking out my series where I created this world from scratch. And again, you can download this house. There's a link in the description below. 
I built this for lot number 112 in Plymouth Isle. It's a lot map also linked in the description below so you know where lot num number 112 is. But yeah, and if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, make sure to click the like button. Uh, but yeah, we're getting to the screenshots here very soon. So I hope you stick around for those. You can get a better look at what the house looks like from the inside. And also when I'm not like moving around so fast. But yeah, just doing some final touches here. And I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.